This mold is hot too. There it is. It came out. That's a nice looking weight. I like it. That's a dab of weight. Goes with my weight belt. Firing the whole part two. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you all the latest improvements and where we're heading. Here we go. Hi, if y'all saw my last video on firing the hole, uh, it was a complete failure. Uh, our ultimate goal here is to do some fire ant art where we pour molten aluminum down a fire ant hole and creates an awesome looking uh, structure as it goes down through all the tunnels. But I've been trying to build a kiln so I can melt the uh, aluminum and the first time I tried to do it, as y'all remember seeing, we tried to use these right here and it was a complete failure. They, uh, they threw fire five feet at the top of my kiln here and it didn't melt anything so and i had already made another burner from uh, some information from the internet and that's this one right here it's got a three quarter inch pipe small uh, piece of brass with a little hole drilled in the end here i think it's a 57 i got the structures off there i made a couple slight modifications but it worked it worked good we did a quick test on some lead and it didn't melt the lead and we're gonna do another test with just lead today and see how it does and I also got a little, another little surprise. We're going to try to use this right here to make some uh, diving weights right here. This thing here, you pour it in and it makes it holes where you put your strap through it on for diving weights. We're going to set it up top here and let it heat up as we do it. Uh, one other thing I got here I want to show y'all. As y'all remember, last time I had a hard time for the um, lead to come out of my um, holders. And I did buy some other ones from uh, the store. But one thing we didn't have is any release and what one person said in that was take a candle and let it smoke the inside up and that will help release basically what that smoke smoke is is carbon and so then i started looking up some mold release stuff on the internet and they use graphite which is another form of carbon but in a crystalline form so i started looking on uh on the internet looking for some graphite spray and i found some at home depot right there graphite spray I'm thinking this will be really good for releasing anything you pour into a mold. So we're going to try it out. Let me show you how it works right now. All right, what you do first, this is one of those cheap, cheap molds that, that kept getting stuck to. That's a Teflon mold I'm going to try, and that's another mold I got. But check this out. You see the blackness? That is graphite, and that will, should help seal it so it releases. We're going to try some tests here. We'll just do some testing and see how it works. I'm gonna try all these containers. Oh, that's that's gonna burn off right there. Let's just, let's flip it around. I already coated this one up some. Let's dump all the stuff out of it first. But I did coat it up already. So you can see it's already black, so I'm just showing you kind of how what we're doing. But anyway, that should help a lot. And we're gonna do this right here. Let's get all the make sure it's no debris in here. Looks like something was in there, so so we should be able to spray this. And that should help it release. After we get it hot, lit it. We're gonna heat this up first, uh, so that it um, is hot. You don't want to pour molten lead in a cold uh, mold. Could crack it. Could you know? Could mess up. So we'll heat it up, and I'm gonna have a. Uh, I'm gonna try my uh, laser temperature probe and see. Make sure everything's in a good temperature range. We don't get it too hot to melt it either. So anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna fire up the kiln right now. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be melting lead, so I'm going to use some of this lead that we already melted. So I halfway clean lead. I don't want to get a whole lot dirty. This, this lead, like these weights here, should be good and clean. The ones I found on the beach and all here. So we, I'm going to pile up some lead in here so we have enough to test with. So let me go ahead and fill this up a little bit, and then we'll fire it up and see if we can't melt some of this stuff out. I'm going to get mostly the cleanest lead I can. There's still going to be some little bit of dirt on here. We'll have to get off of it once it melts down. But it should be a little better. So I, see, if I use that, this here will float to the top. I don't have to pick it out because that's brass and that's not going to melt. All right, let's get, get going and fill this thing up. I want to throw a special thanks out to Dave. He told me I better buy me a face shield, some gloves. I got a little bit of safety equipment. I had some of this stuff, but he, he pushed me into getting some more stuff too. And I'm, thank you, Dave. I appreciate the input on it. And also the input on, on my burners and everything here. So... I just cut it on a while ago and it looks like it's already melted the lead in it. Um, we're going to go right now and see if we can scoop any uh, debris off the top that's uh, some debris and stuff you know, that sometimes mixed in with it. So let's do that right now. Here we go. Alright, there was definitely some debris on top and I think we just about got it off. But as you can see, 
the bunch of us down here I got out, but it's pretty clean looking now. The container is actually red, glowing red hot. So it might be actually man, too hot, maybe. I think this can work one burner, maybe, for the, uh, let's see. Let's get it out. Let's try pouring just a little bit of it. I made these little holders I can get it out with. This stuff is super duper hot. Alright, here we go. We're going to pull it out. There it is right there. So now I can hold it. And let me get my camera down here where you see it now. Okay. Let me go ahead and we're going to try to pour some into this right here right now as a test right here. We're going to pour some right here as a test right now. See how it does. I haven't put a little lip on it so I can pour it a little easier, but we will be doing that. Uh, what we got here, are we ready to give it a shot? This is molten, molten hot. Let's see, this is the cheap one that failed last time. Try that. This is the one I got from the store there. And we're going to pull one in this one right here. See how it does? And then we're going to try to make us a lid. Here we go. Let me get this over here real quick. Alright. This thing was heated up pretty good. Let's give it a shot. It's still a little bit warm here. Let's give it a shot right now. It's just a little test run anyway, so I'll, I'll get better at this. Let's try one right now, though. See how it's going to do. We'll eventually put this on a scale so we can actually do it. But I'm going to go, it's probably going to be about a three pounder right there. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and finish what we got in here out. And then we'll check everything out. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're going to pour the rest of it right. We're going to pour the rest of it right in there. I think this Teflon will work anyway. Whoa! A little careless on that one. Let's see if we can pour the rest of it in here. Okay, it's empty. All right, now let's, see how do. let's go ahead and shut down the kiln. We'll go ahead and shut the kiln down and see what we got here. This is our first real test run and see how it does. Boy, that weight looks good. I like it. Check it, Check it out. All right, they look like they could be hard already. Let's see if it is. No, oh, they're not hard. Oh, that stuff is just as hot as a firecracker. It's molten. It's still molten in everything I got here right now. Wow. Let's see if, if I just touch this. Does it... That one's getting close. That one does not seem to be moving. Let's see if we can pop that out. I get my glove on here. Get my... These are welding gloves. All right, let's see if it'll... Yeah, I think that one's okay to pop out now. If it'll pop out. All right, it's not popping out. Okay, not sure what we got to do there. That did not work as good as I thought it would. It does have lines on the edges, which I thought would kind of catch it to get it to come out. So that could be the issue. We'll go ahead and let it... Um, Rump down line said to go ahead and pop it out while it was still hot like that. But it doesn't seem to be falling out easy, that's for sure. This mold is hot too. There it is. It came out. That's a nice looking weight. I like it. That's a diamond weight. Goes with my weight belt. Awesome. We'll weigh it up and see how much it weighs. I think that's going to work right there. I like it. We'll see how they go in just a minute. All right, stay tuned. We're going to check everything out when it gets a little cooler. All right, one of the questions we have here is, can we do it with one burner, or is it going to take two? Dave said he does his with one burner. And you know what? I think I'll be able to do it, too, because that thing got red hot on very low. So I'm thinking the uh, one burner might work. We'll go ahead and um, let everything cool down a little bit. Check it out. I like it. This could be it. This could be the one. Next time... And fire in a hole, we're going to try aluminum next. We will try aluminum. 
I got a separate little uh, container for that right here. That's all I'm, I got one for aluminum right there and one for lead. I got that one made. I made that one over there. So I think we might have some. I really think we might have it. All right, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, now the question is, will they pop out of these pans? Let's check it out. This is the cheap pan first. This is one from the dollar store. Before, it would not pop out. And it's still not popping out on this one. It popped the thing out. So that's probably a, a failed. That one fell right out. These are the Teflon ones right here. That one worked good right there. Oh, they all fell right out. Perfect. Look at that. That's going to work good. That's going to work okay. These are junk. This one is junk right here. I will probably not again. Alright, this one is definitely out of the running. Alright, we gotta get that one out of that. But the dollar store ones did not work. The Teflon ones from the uh, thrift store and this one from the thrift store did fine. These are junk. Now let's see how this is working out. Check this out. A nice weight for my weight belt. Oh man, I like it too, man. I'm gonna have to go weigh that. Should be about two pounds. I'm thinking that's perfect. I can put about six of those on so they kind of go around my waist and that should give me enough weight to get to the bottom. I use 12, 14 pounds. Usually gets me to the bottom pretty good. But that is a nice looking weight. I like it. I'm going to start using my, making some weights, I think. I'm going to dip, try probably dip this in some, uh, in some plastic dip stuff so they are uh, nice and clean and looking at everything. Hang on. Awesome. All right, I decided to go ahead and melt the rest of my lead since I got everything going here. So, Let's check out in just a minute. It's, uh, it's melting pretty good. I can see it already going down. I got it on real low and it's working. All right, stay tuned. All right, this batch of lead had a lot more impurities in it. We got that heated up so we can use that. Melt this thing a minute there. But let's check it out. I think it's probably melted, but it's got a lot of impurities in it. So we got to get them out. We'll use this right here to scoop it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this down some. Right, let's see what we got here. A lot of impurities in it. Check this out. See all that right there? I knew it was going to have a lot in it. And some of that, maybe some of that wasn't lid. There's a piece of wire down in there we got to get. See that wire right there? Y'all see that wire? Look at that. That's some hot stuff right there. I haven't got that, haven't got that wire out yet for some reason. It's stuck in there. I see some clean lead in it now, though. Okay, I think we're getting pretty good now. So one little batch of new bit of stuff in it right there. Let's see if I can get this wire out of here. Uh oh, it's stuck in there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let's see if I can grab it right here. There we go. We got it out. A little bit of debris right there. I got it. Okay, I see that debris. All right, I think we're ready to pour it now. I'm actually going to shut it off. I think it's plenty hot to do that with now. It will stay high enough for it to support right now. All right, so I'm going to get my, my little handles here, my pouring rod. All right, let's get back here, and this is where we're going to be doing our pouring right here. All right, we got us our weight, and then we got our other pans here that we should be able to get the uh, all the lid out and uh, make little biscuits. We call them biscuits out of them. All right, I'm getting it right now. Hold tight. Oh, this is heavy. That is heavy right there. That thing is heavy. I don't know how many pounds that is, but that's a lot of lead. I'm going to pour a couple out first. I want nice clean lead. Hopefully some of that, if there's a little bit of trash left on top, it will come out. All right, here we go. Nice and slow, hopefully. All right, biscuit number one. Biscuit number two. Let's go for the weight. Here we go.
be a little bit thicker this time. Maybe that's about three pounder, maybe. All right, let's finish up the, the load here with biscuits here. Something we can handle anyway. All right, it's coming through pretty good. I like it. All right, here we go. Molten. Well, I'm saying firing the hole two was a complete success for melting lead. Our next step is aluminum. Is it gonna melt aluminum? That's the big question now. If it does, we are in business for the fire hand art. But also, you know, we can also use it for the lead too because uh, I can make diving weights and uh, do some other stuff with it. And uh, you also sell lead. So anyway, um, also one more caution. Um, when you when I cut this kiln, I walk away and let it heat up because you do not want to breathe the uh, fumes from lead melting. You want to stay upwind of it, let the wind carry it away, and uh, don't get right over breathing it. But um, it was pretty clean, didn't have any smoke coming off it. Some things are colorless and odorless, so be careful about that. Always stay away when it was heating and only uh, stay close to it as, as little as you can anyway. But uh, alright, complete success. Alright, let's wait for fire the hole three for aluminum. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, I appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Alright, thanks for coming along.